On this episode of the Podcast Tools Show, I'm going to look at WordPress themes for podcasters. And particularly, I'm going to compare two of my favourites, which are Second Line Themes and Elegant Themes. We're going to look at what they give you, the pros and cons of each, and which one might suit you for your particular situation. Hey folks, I'm Colin Gray from thepodcasthost.com and it's another episode of the Podcast Tools Show, this time talking about WordPress themes for podcasters. So I've got a guide on our site, which is all about how to build your own website. I talk about the fact that it's a great thing because you do get websites with your podcast hosting provider, generally. If you use any of the ones we recommend, like uh, Captivate, like Buzzsprout, like Transistor, they give you a decent website along with it. So you can use that, absolutely. It's not a terrible thing to do so. They're pretty functional, um, but they're always a bit limited in what you can do with it. You know, you can't run a blog alongside generally. You can't have control over like where you put your social media following stuff or your email list pop-ups or, you know, um, email list signups, whatever it might be. Okay. So generally, if you want to grow your show, you want to take it seriously, you want to build your own website with your own branding that you fully own and fully control. And the easiest way to do that in a good way to give your listeners great ways to subscribe, to play your show, to look through your back catalogue, is to use a theme that is really suited to podcasters. Now, if you want to get that guide, if you want to know how to build that website, go over to thepodcasthost.com forward slash website, thepodcasthost.com forward slash website. And I'll show you how to set up a WordPress website and how to customize it for podcasting. And it'll give you some links towards these two themes as well that I'm going to talk about today. But let's get to the themes. So what is a theme? Very, very quickly, a theme is basically a skin that you put on the website. When you set up WordPress in the first place, it's got a very basic WordPress theme. It doesn't look particularly attractive. It's, it's pretty, well, they look decent, but it's pretty basic. So to get the functionality, to get the look you really want, you put on a theme or a, a skin, a template on top of that, and it gives you extra functionality. Now, podcast specific ones, what we are looking for are ways to have really nice looking players, you know, be able to put the player at the top of the screen, let listeners hit an episode page and play right away. We also want them to have subscribe buttons, so really easy ways for listeners to subscribe. If they hit your episode page, they hit your homepage, the action we want them to take is to subscribe to your podcast. That's the big aim. So that's what we want in a theme. So let's look at them. Second line themes is the first one. Second line themes. Now you can get them if you go over to thepodcasthost.com forward slash second. Okay, you'll find them over there forward slash second and that'll link you straight to second line themes. Now these guys build themes just for podcasters. Okay, so this is just for podcasters, specifically tailored to podcasters. Elegant themes, which I'll talk about in a minute, they're not. They're not specifically for podcasters, but I'll tell you about the pros and cons of that just now. So second line themes, the pros, like I said, built just for podcasters. So Basically, as soon as you install one of the second line themes, it puts all of the podcasting functionality in there by default. So a couple of the themes, for example, they will show you on the home page. You can set up a player right at the top. You can set up subscribe buttons right up at the top and they'll be there as soon as you type in your subscribe links. So that's the benefit, one of the benefits of second line themes. A couple of the second line themes as well, there's, I say a couple, there's three, I think there's maybe five or six different themes, all very similar functionality, but they just look a bit different. So you can customize it to your style, okay? You can choose which way you want your, your uh, podcast website to look. But at least one or two of the themes, they have great back catalog layouts, so you have all of the, you know, if you click uh, the category link, for example, it'll show you the archive layout, which is basically a big list of previous episodes. And many of them, you can actually press play right on the, uh, the, little, the little block that shows you that episode. You don't have to go into the episode page to play it, to preview it. Basically, it makes it very simple for people to browse through your back catalogue to find the right stuff and to play it, to preview it and to subscribe right away. So that's the big benefit, really, of second line themes. It's 
built directly for podcasters and it enables that playing, that displaying of old episodes, that navigation through episodes, letting people just browse around, have a listen, get to know your show and subscribe right away. It's the big thing with second line themes. Cons of second line themes though, the downsides of that are because it's built just for that, because it has all that stuff built in, it can be a bit more limiting, okay? Maybe you don't want your player up at the very top where it places it on that initial theme. Maybe you don't want the archive to show the player there. You want them to go into the episode pages because you've got much more detail in there. That's where your, your email list sign up is, for example, something like that. You lose a little bit of control with second line themes, okay? The exchange is you don't have to build it. You don't have to put it together bit by bit. It's basically ready to go out of the box with all the features you need, but you get a bit less control. There's a bit less customization with that. That's the downside. Moving to elegant themes, you essentially get the opposite. <laughs> the pros are that it's super customizable. You get full control. You can put like buttons here, widgets there, uh, email uh, sign up here. You know, you can construct a page, drag and drop. So elegant themes, the, the theme I would talk about is Divi. So Divi is their kind of flagship theme and it's got a really good page builder, a really good theme builder. So you can go into a page, you can put a player at the top, you can put a subscribe button there, you can put a resource block here, you can put your show notes and your transcript, you can arrange it all lovely. You can arrange it all really nicely, real full customization, a great way to do it. The trouble is, of course, you have to do that. You have to lay it all out. It is easy, it is drag and drop, all these elements you can choose from, it's pretty simple to build it in, but you have to build it, like you have to do it. So it's still something you have to do, all right? It's not built specifically for podcasters. So because of that as well, it doesn't necessarily have subscribe buttons. It doesn't have, it definitely doesn't have subscribe buttons built in, for example, but it does have button widgets. So you can use their button tool. You drag on a button and you just make sure you're having the light right link on it. So... <clears throat> on the other hand, second line themes gives you a couple of subscribe buttons, but maybe it doesn't give you the subscribe button you want. So actually with elegant themes with Divi, you can put in a few more buttons that are really tailored to what you want. It takes a little bit more time because you have to manually do it, but you get the extra control to do it if you want. Okay, I hope that lines it up. Basically, so the pros of Divi are that you get full control. The cons are that you have to build it yourself. But when I say build it, again, it's not technical. It is really just a drag and drop interface, really simple to do. So it's a really nice little system. Um, if you want to go and check out what Divi looks like, go over to thepodcasthost.com forward slash Divi. Uh, that's an affiliate link. We have a partnership with them. It doesn't cost you any more. Helps support the content that we put out. So we'd appreciate it if you did use that, but you don't have to. <laughs> so thepodcasthost.com forward slash Divi. Divi, D-I-V-I. And if you want to check out Second Line Themes again, go to thepodcasthost.com forward slash second. Uh, that's all in words. So that's like S-E-C-O-N-D, not the two N-D. So just to tie things up, when would you use each of them? I would say Second Line Themes is good for you if you really just want a plug and play system. You're not fussed about over-optimizing your site you don't want to have everything perfect. You're happy with a good site that does the job, offers the players, offers the subscribe buttons and let them take control of that essentially. You're happy just to take that plug and play, stick it on your website and it just works, okay? Saves you time, simpler and you're happy to give up that control. That's what Second Line Themes is really good for. But if you're the kind of person that wants to take a bit more control, you want to tweak things, you want to put in lots of different tools, you, you like to optimize, you like to make sure you're getting the very best out of your site, then I would recommend Divi. Divi from Elegant Themes, okay? It'll give you full control, it'll still make it pretty easy, but it will take a little bit longer to set up. But once you've got it set up, you're all go. All right, I hope that gives you a good guide, that Elegant Themes versus Second Line Themes. Uh, and I hope that you have, uh, yeah, hope you have a lot, a lot of luck setting up your website. It really is worth it if you get your own site set up. 
Right before we go, this episode is brought to you by the Podcast Host Academy. That's our coaching, our teaching space to help you grow and run a better podcast. We've got courses in there for everything from launching your show to editing your show to hosting to equipment, growth, monetization, everything you could need, you can learn inside the Academy. And you get live coaching as well. We do live coaching sessions every single week where people pop in and they ask me or Matthew or somebody else in the team questions. Um, in, in Slack, we do it in text so that it's nice and easy to take part. So you can just jump in for a few minutes, ask a couple of questions, get a quick response. Do it in your pants, do it in your jammies. <laughs> I do, that's why we do it in Slack. So don't do it in video. I can do it however I like. So you can pop in, get that live coaching. And that's all for one uh, simple annual price. Uh, so if you join up, you can sign up for the year. You can commit to a year of podcasting. We'll help you grow your show over that year. Join us at thepodcasthost.com forward slash academy. Otherwise, thank you for joining me for another episode and I'll see you on the next episode of the Podcast Tool Show. Music